How are we doing, guys? The set is up. We've got all of it here, and we're going to go through it card by card and see what's good and what we think is just going to be funny. So, spend a bit of time with me, and let's have some fun looking at the Witchwood. Right, we'll start from the bottom. Got the neutrals here. We'll go all the way up through this lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't be so good. <laughs> all the way through. And we'll see what we find as we go through. I've seen a few cards of the set, but not everything. So some of these things will be as I'm seeing them myself. So let's start with these four and we'll go up. So Fury setting, five nine with Taunt seven. Eh, it's not bad for a common. Got a big arse. Might be useful for the inner fire priest. Can't see it being worth that much though. One mana two one with lifesteal. Eh. Hunter might use it. Lifesteal can be useful, I suppose. Lost Spirit. Two mana one one. Death row will give your minions plus one attack. It's not that bad. Cauldron Elemental. Your other elementals have plus two attack. Mana seven seven. That's not that bad. Goes in with the elemental deck. And it doesn't require you to have played an elemental the previous turn, so it could be good for a useful finisher. Obviously, like the elemental deck doesn't win that quickly, and this could just give it a bit of push over the edge just to get you there. Right, and then Fell Soul Inquisitor. Lifesteal Taunt, 4 mana 1 6. Quite a big butt on it. This is another one of those cards that's got a really big sort of like defense on it. Which I think the Priest Legendary that we want to look at that inifies everything. Like cards like this that generally look bad could end up being pretty decent just because they've got quite a large sort of like arse on them basically. So this in general it's a very bad card. It's a demon. But you don't want to play in any kind of demon synergy. So I doubt it will see play anywhere. But it could be decent. So 8 mana, 8 to 8, death row. I'll start 8 health to your hip. It's like a really weird antique heal bot. I don't really like that. Mm. Worm guard. Battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and taunt. Seven mana, three eleven. That could be a four eleven with taunt. Is that just like a bad version of Sleeping Dragon? I think it is. To be honest with you, it doesn't do a lot, but I think in this situation you would just play Sleeping Dragon over this. Guaranteed he has taunt. Guaranteed he has four attack. <sighs> you wouldn't play this really. Maybe an arena. It's about as far as it'd go. Walnut Sprite. Echo. So I'm gonna. This, just this general mechanic makes cards better than they probably are. I mean, like a three mana three three. Sure, that's like fine, but it's not incredible but the fact of like you can just make three of them and that's not that bad on turn nine you know three 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 you know by that point someone might have made a board clear you know here's three three threes might get you there might not but it's not really that bad don't think you'd want to play it there's probably better cards um but overall it's not terrible it's just not great here we go 2 1 lifesteal rush 2, what, two mana 1 3 lifesteal and rush that I think would probably be better if it was poisonous if it was like a 2 mana 1 2 
with Rush and Poisonous. So you just sort of like play it, kill a guy, and then he's gone, it's done. It'll probably work out a lot better because you're not really going to gain anything from like one bit of lifesteal and poking a minion. You'd probably need like an extra bit of attack to make this playable, but uh, what are you going to do? It's a beast. Uh, I suppose you could. No, it's not really that gonna work really, is it? Okay, so Zero Nine Taunt it's a mech. We're we getting some mechs in. Mate, I'm all up for some mechs. I loved mechs back when GBG was in. So good. It's another one of those, you're just not going to play it. Unless you, you know, plan on playing it in the like the inner fire priest, just as you know, four mana here's a nine nine taunt. But on turn four, you've probably got better things to play. You probably also haven't made the legendary that inner fires everything before you cast this. So overall, it's not that good. Come on, I want to be impressed. Set. I've got to get higher up before that happens. I think. All right, three mana, three four. Okay. Add a random two cost minion to each player's hand. Uh, I suppose that's not that bad. I'm like, out of the list of two mana minions you've got, this isn't going to be that terrible. Like, bit of RNG. I mean, it's like the, the old mage guy that had a battle cry of putting a random spell in both players' hands. That sort of play. Can't see why this wouldn't, especially in something like the new uh, shamans that's going to happen. You know, when you make Hagatha, you make this guy, you get a random spell, you get a random guy, which then when you make the random guy, is going to give you another random spell. It's just RNG galore, to be honest with you. It's not that bad. Give this guy a go. So, next on the list we have. Swift Messenger. He's in this is in your hand, swap a second. Oh, oh, it's the Worgen things with Rush. So, this could either be a case of gets in for six and kills something that's bigger than it, or it just gets down for two, bops something small away, and then you've got a nice sort of, say it kills a two two, you've got a nice four mana, two four that's done a bit of business. That's not that bad. Personally, it wearing possibly in Arena, but I don't think this is going to see Constructor play. Let's keep going up. So, Swamp Dragon Egg, Death Throttle. Add a random dragon to your hand. Oh, should have like a point of attack, and this would be great random dragons like there are very few dragons that you don't want to play oh, I'd so want, I'd so want to just try doing something just random dragons are always a good idea mm. but I don't see it really doing much but I can see it having potential you just have to give it attack which isn't it's never really what you want to be doing for your cards you want them to be able to like to trigger their own death rattles i was saying that if you like made umbra and then made this and just got a random dragon one mana random dragon seems good there but you've got to get into that position for it so probably not that great Spell shifter, two mana, one four. Spell damage plus one. It's in this hand, swap it's attacking. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think it needs the swapping of attack and health. I mean, like a two mana, one four with spell damage plus one. That seems fine on its own. I can't see that really being a problem. Well, the fact of it could be a four one for two mana. Yeah. Not terrible. I mean, it's easily killed, but unless you're playing against like a mage that's just going to ping it away, it, it could, you know, it could clear something decent out or take a big chunk of life off of something bigger. 
It's not that bad. Rotten Apple Bomb. Taunt. Death Rattle restore 4 health to your hero. Yeah, that's not bad. I, I like that. Restores a bit of health. Gets in the way, so it probably saves you 5 damage as well. Which is never a bad thing, so... Saves you 5 damage when it dies. Restores you 4. That's 9 health that, you know, this thing has just helped you with. Seems pretty decent. Don't think it'll be C Constructor play, but I can see it happening in Arena. Could be worth it. Raven Caller has two random one cost minions to your hand. Ooh. So, three mana, two, one. Not the best. Gives you two random one cost minions. I mean, that's alright. Depends really on what the one cost minions are, but could be decent in something like the Hagatha deck where you're making minions and getting spells. Getting two random one ones to get some more random spells. Very niche, but it'll probably work there. So I'm going to say this card's not great, but it could have potential in certain areas such as the Hagatha Shaman. Let's keep going up. Oh, we're going to get some rares in a second. Nice. Three mana, Pumpkin Peasant. Oh, this is the thing they revealed in the first little sort of like Blair Witch Project video that they did. Eh, this is not bad. I quite like this. 4-2 is definitely better than the 4-1. Can't just ping this one away. And lifesteal is pretty decent. Marsh Dragon, Battle Cry, summon a 2 1 poisonous Drake Slayer for your opponent. What? That. Alright then. 3 mana 5 4 Dragon. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, you could probably very easily deal with the 2 1. It's got 1 toughness. <laughs> Unless this thing's got like stealth or something. You can very easily deal with that. I suppose this is not bad. I like this dragon. Dragons are cool. Right. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. After your hero attacks, give this minion plus 1 plus 1. Ooh. That's alright. Something like Rogue that's going to attack a lot. That's not bad. If you play it in Druid, then it could end up being pretty big. Probably could have done with like being a beast or something just so it had some more synergy. Um, but overall, I don't think this is this bad. Uh, three mana, three threes. There are three threes that do better things, but eh, this is alright. Could be better, but isn't terrible. Clockwork Automaton. Double the damage and healing of your hero power. Ooh, it's a very nice looking mech. So, doubling the damage, obviously, like, you don't want to play that in um, something like Warlocks, you know, take four, draw a card, doesn't seem that good to me. Um, but something like playing it in, um, pre <laughs> words escaped me, in Priest. Uh, you know, five mana profit Valens effect seems pretty decent. Um, in Hunter, four damage for your hero power that seems pretty decent, especially. And you know, you get a four four body, that's all right. Um, some double druid, like that. Um, it's probably only really the same sort of the, the sort of places you're really going to want to see that. I mean, it doesn't do anything else. Um, I suppose I would say Mage, it gives you the Hero Power dealing two. Um, which one is the. Oh, hold on, that's five. Oh, crazy. Oh, so. If you had this in play, after starting out with Baku, so your Hero Power upgrades. So say you've done mage, your hero power is upgraded to deal two damage. You then have this in play. 
So then your hero power deals four damage. That's not bad for mage. For just pinging things off with four damage. That seems pretty good. Hunter deals six. That seems pretty great. Priest heal eight. That seems pretty decent. Yeah, I like this thing. This thing has a lot of potential. It's probably going to be terrible. But I really like that. I'd give it. I'd give that a go. I'd deal some. I'd give that a go. I'd definitely give that a try. I'm getting up into some rares now. Point of picture, refresh your hero power. This is annoying. Um, looks like its body is pretty decent. The three mana. 3-4, that's pretty good. It's on the odd spectrum, so playing it with Baku, um, obviously you're refreshing your upgraded hero power, but it's because it's as a battle cry, it's not something that can be passive, or um, like the other one that says when you cast spells, refresh your hero power. Um, like So this is on not usable before say turn five or turn four with the coin um is when you're able to hero power make this but even then on turn five you can't then use your hero power again so you're talking turn seven or turn um six with the coin so hero power make this hero power is that really what how you want to spend your turn i don't feel it is but Obviously, refreshing your hero power can be really good. So, we'll just have to see. But I don't think this card is very good. Like, this effect is powerful, but I don't think, as a battle cry, it's going to work. Okay, and let's get into some rares. So, if this is the only minion in the battlefield, gain plus three, plus three. Ooh. Bit of... It's on the but it's so that counts yours and theirs. This was four mana six six obviously is good, but it's how often you can um trigger this. It's definitely not the same as Lone Champion. If you control me yeah, so Lone Champion's effect is better than this one. My thing go. There it is. So this is just in the battlefield. So yours and theirs. I prefer this sort of effect if you control all the minions. So it, it could be quite easy for you to control all the minions, um, but for to make sure that they have no other minions as well, it's probably going to be a bit harder. So that's not great. I don't think that's. It's a beast, I suppose. Beasts are normally pretty good. But I feel there are better beasts out there. So, moving on. Barkrai, deal 3 damage to the enemy hero. Restore 3 health to your hero. Beast. Ooh. That's pretty good. I like that. I mean, like, as a finisher. You know, make this 3 to you. There you go. Got B synergies, so that's pretty good. I just generally, that's not bad, that. I quite like this just as a whole. Three damage to you, I heal three. It, it's a siege rhino. Hearthstone has a siege rhino. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I'll take it. I'll take it and I will run to the hills with it. This is great. Next one, Mad Hatter. Randomly toss three hats to other minions. Each hat gives plus one, plus one. Oh, it's, it's like the old hats. That's not a hot bag. These, randomly, and it's three other minions, so it can hit theirs. So the four mana could possibly buff their minions as well. It's just probably not very good. Uh, obviously, like this is obviously like Mad Bomber, but the other way around. 
Um, I, d I don't think this is going to be very good. Unless you can guarantee that you're the only one on the table with minions, this isn't going to be very good. <laughs> Moving on. Chief Inspector Parkrider, destroy all enemy secrets. Yes, I'll take it. All over it. Done deal. Done deal. Quite like destroying secrets. Um, I mean, there are things like uh, ice block which are going to be in wild, so it's not going to be as needed to destroy enemy secrets. But things like spell hunter are using a lot of secrets at the minute, um, and you're probably not going to want to leave that forced by paladin secrets. Um, there's the rogue secrets that make them immune so if you've got the ability to kill them um, just making sure that they haven't got the one that makes them immune or the one that makes you attack the creature next to you that could stop you from killing them just making this and destroying that seems alright but it's kind of like a bigger eater of secrets um, which overall isn't that bad eater of secrets is good so yeah I'll definitely go with this one. Next one. Which wood piper? Draw the lowest cost minion from your deck. Um, that's not bad. 4 mana 3-3 three, three gives you probably a 1-1. One, one. Not a 1-1, one, one, sorry. A 1 cost minion if you've got those. So like a mana worm. Or say if you are playing... Uh, like the quest mage, this can draw you into your three twos. Yeah, the name of them has completely escaped me. <laughs> Alright, like this. Mage. Do, do, do. Sorcerer's Apprentice, yes. So it could draw you into these if this is what you're missing, um, which isn't that bad. Obviously, it thins your deck out for what you could draw, which gets you closer to the things you need to actually complete the quest. So overall, I don't think it'll see loads of play, but I see it could have application in certain areas. So which would Grizzly taunt? Five for a three twelve. All right. Loses one health for each card in your opponent's hand. Eh. Uh, so at the very worst, it's a three two with torn. Yes, yeah, can't have more than ten. That's at, like the very worst. Um. Say you are playing this in Druid. You're probably not going to, but say you are. Five mana is probably more likely, sort of like turn three, four-ish. Probably turn three, you know, you've gone past turn one, turn two, coin, go to four mana, and then I'm just like, innovate this. That's very quick which could possibly actually be the downfall for it. You've got to hope they've made something because they've probably then got like four or five cards in hand. Which then five mana, three, seven. That's still not that bad. But at that point, why aren't you just making Ancient of War? Um, I don't feel you're wanting to play this in Hunter. I mean, you could play it in Priest and just sort of heal it up. But then at that point, why aren't you just playing Obsidian Statue? So, this card obviously is, can be good, but there's a lot of things, it when you think about it, that mean you probably aren't going to play it. You're probably going to want to play the better thing that's already there. So... Scale Worm. Battle Cry. If you're holding a dragon game, plus one attack can rush. Well, that's alright. 
Holding a dragon, five four with rush. That could be pretty decent. I mean, I could see that working. Yeah, solid. Ten out of ten. Well, at least like a seven. Yeah, I'm down with that. I like that guy. Moving up. Nearly it's some epics. Nice one. Phantom Militia, that's the card they revealed in their Blair Witchy video that was pretty fun. Um, 3 mana, 2 4, Taunt, Echo. So, for those of you that aren't aware, Echo is when you play this, for the remainder of the turn, you can play it again and obviously make another copy. So, on turn 3, if you make this, you've got one. If you're on like turn 6, you can cast this creature twice. On turn 9, obviously, you can make it three times. 3 2 4s with Taunt. Not that bad. There are worse things that could have happened, but this is okay. Gilnian Royal Guard, Divine Shield and Rush. Ooh. Is eight mana though. Each turn that's in your hand, so ah right. Um an eight three with Divine Shield and Rush. I, I feel this would be a lot better if it wasn't 8 mana. Like, at 8 mana, it just... What's the point? There are better things to be doing with 8 mana than making a 3-8 or an 8-3. So, I'm a bit on the fence about this one. Don't think I'd play it personally. Sandbinder, Battlefire, draw an elemental from your deck. Oh, that's not bad for... Four mana. The worst thing you could be drawing is drawing a card. Drawing a card is always a good idea. It's drawing specifically an elemental. It could be any elemental. Um, could see it working in say like the Hagatha Shamans. There are a lot of elementals in Shaman that are worth playing. So guarantee the drawing one might be a good idea. So overall. Not great, not amazing, but at least reasonable. Eight mana, four four, death rattle, summon two splitting saplings. Now, do the splitting splitting saplings do anything specific? Yes, they do. I thought this would be the case. So, eight mana, make two, three mana, two twos, death rattle summon two one ones so they both do this so you'll get eight mana here's some four fours that split into two two twos and then so you've effectively effectively always got four power on the table um even if they kill this so then it goes to two of these and then if they kill both of those you've got four of these not a, not that bad i like it there are definitely worse things that it could be. I think at 8 mana it's not great but for something recurring like that there are definitely worse ways it could go. Okay. Mossy Horror. Battle Cry destroy all other minions with 2 or less attacks. 6 mana 2-7. Ooh. That could be pretty cool. I like it. So it's the um, shadow word spell um, that kills everything with two or two or less attack. Um, except obviously, then you're left with this on the table. So if you're playing this in priest, then obviously you can make the new priest card that makes gives everything in a fire in your deck. So six mana. So for him for six money, you've got six money, seven seven, kill everything it costs two or less. I mean I'm down with that. I'll cast it. Quite happily. So I can see this being pretty good. Next one, Wargan Abomination. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all other damaged minions. Ooh. I mean that's definitely not bad, is it? They have to be damaged, so I suppose it's. Hmm. 
it's, it's recurring as well. So at the end of your turn, it's like a very odd Baron Geddon. Baron Geddon saw a lot of play. I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence about this one. I could see it having a lot of useful application, but um, I'd have to see it first. Voodoo doll. Battle cry. Choose a minion. Death rattle. Destroy the chosen minion. Three mana. One one. Uh, I don't really think this is very good. Especially not on turn three. You're only a one one with a delayed effect of destroying your minion. If you're wanting to destroy your minion, you want to destroy it basically there and then. Not have to wait around for either this to die or. Or anything, you just want to get rid of stuff. So, I don't think this is very good. Which is Cauldron. After a friendly minion dies, add a random shaman spell to your hand. Yeah. I mean, like, this is neutral, so this is like in anything. There are some very good shaman spells. Although saying that, there are a lot of classes that probably won't do very well with overloading mana. Like, you probably want to be able to use all of your mana every turn, so... There's a not for Unless you're able to make this on three and have, like, two things die um, to get, like, a couple of things in your hand. It's going to be a lot later in the game that you're making this, or you're just not going to bother making this. So, yeah, it's not very, it's not great, but I can see a lot of fun happening with this. If you want to just play around and just do something funky, definitely this card is going to be great. Ah, we're at the top of the neutrals now. Nightmare Amalgam. Three mana, three four. All. All. This is an elemental mech, demon, murloc, dragon, beast, pirate, and totem. It is all. <laughs> I mean, so it synergizes with literally everything. It just has to be, and it can be good. I mean, there are specific beasts and sort of like. For every one of these, there's probably a more sp a specific one you're wanting to play over this. But in a pinch, and especially if you're like, this comes up in Arena, this could be very helpful for some synergies. You're playing Elementals, pick pick this guy, you know. He's going to make sure that you can have an Elemental, and then the next turn you can do your stuff. You know, you play some Beast synergies, you know. You, you've got this guy, he's going to be buffed by everything, like Leoc and whatnot. Um, Murlocs... The little wall leads is going to give it plus two attack. That's not that bad. For, <laughs> it's just, it's just useful. Like it's not going to be amazing, but it's just useful, which is never a bad thing. Right. Muck hunter, rush, I'm in. Battle cry, summon two two one mucklings for your opponent. What? Why? Five mana, five eight. Do these things have a rush or something? Nope. Do we not get a picture on this one? Okay. Some two mucklings for your opponent. I don't think they'd do anything, otherwise it'd tell you, right? I, th I think in that instance it probably although it probably can't have charge. Um, five eight isn't bad. Yeah, I think I like this. This is pretty cool. You can probably easily deal with a couple of two ones without much fuss. And the five eight that's gonna like smack something instantly isn't isn't going to be terrible for you. I'd be quite happy with that. Eight attack, eight toughness, sorry, is definitely good. So it's going to be able to take a lot before it's down. Not bad overall. 
Just say if you can avoid the battle cry. If you just get it into play somehow. I'd be up for that. A baleful banker. Two mana, two two. Alright then. Choose a friendly minion, shuffle a copy of it into your deck. Well, yeah. Well, that's just great. <laughs> so many things I'll happily shuffle back into my deck. I'll draw that again. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're playing cube lock. I'll have another Void Lord. I'll have another Doom Guard. Sure. I'll have another Nazoth. Just put more of that in my deck. I'll draw it again and just. Oh, they're saying that and there's us going probably use that in wild that'd be good um what else have we got I'm shuffling obsidian statues into your deck so many things that could be done with that i would gladly take that and then we have countess ashmore countess windmore more like this thing is great seven mana six six not amazing on the stats, but it's battle cry is pretty good. Battle cry have drawn a rush, a life steal, and a death rattle minion uh, card to your hand. So let's play a, a six eight. Draw three cards. I mean that's just great, right? You can't complain at that. I mean there are a lot of rush rush cards that you're gonna be having to draw. You could draw muck under here. I'm not going to complain about that too much. Lifesteal. Lifesteal and Death Rattle. You can draw both Obsidian statues. But also, there are a lot of like Lifesteal and Death Rattle minions that you're going to be quite happy to draw. Oh, this is so good. Right. If you're going for like a longer game in Hunter, like, there's a number of Rush Hunter cards that are going to be really good and you're going to be happy to draw them. And also, like Savannah Hymane. So even if you you play this and you draw a rush minion and a Savannah High main, yes, I'll I'll take that. I'm that's fine. So overall, this card is great. Again, Grey main. Start a game. If your deck has only even cost cards, your starting hero power costs one. Now this, and this one, the Baku the Moon Eater, I like them, but I'm not overly excited by them. I mean, I want, I like Hearthstone because I like to play with my collection. I like to be able to use what I've got. That's why a lot of the time I play Wild over Standard. So having to then cut that, Say I only played it in standard and then cut that in half to only say we were going for Baku and we were playing only the odd cost cards. Like, are there enough odd cost cards in the um, class that I want to play that will make me want to have an upgraded hero power? Possibly not. But it could also then, on the flip side, be really good. I mean, I'd have to play around with it. I I really would like with both of them. I mean, a one cost hero power, like, reducing the cost of your hero power is always a good idea. Like we saw how bad priest got with a zero cost hero power, but to one obviously at the start of the game gives you always gives you something to do on turn one, which also then also makes it easier when you're on your odd mana turns. You can make your even cost spell. And then also use your hero power. I prefer Gen Tobacco overall. I do prefer Gen Tobacco. So, let's go from there. Overall, the two of them don't seem bad. Like, what they're doing is both really good. But, Gen, to me personally, is better than Baku. So, Dom Master Dorian. Whenever you draw a minion, summon a 1 1 copy of it. Yes. Five mana, two six. I don't care about those stats. That ability is incredibly good. So, you're going to want, like, most likely some very good death rattle minions. So, with this on the table, so you've got this down and you draw the 
the seven mana guy the seven seven that when it dies creates seven one ones. Make sure I get the right name on that one. It's Violet something. I think it's just Violet Worm. Yep, Violet Worm. You draw this guy with that on the table. You've got a 1-1 one, one Death Rattle die up there. That when it dies is going to make you 7 1-1 one, one Grubs. Sure. I will happily take that. I mean, let's have a look at some other Death Rattles. Yes, I'll take some Grizzled Guardians off of that. That's not bad. Yes, I'll shuffle some Astral Tigers into my deck. Yes, I'll summon a thing for killing a 1 1. Yes, I'm down with that. Um, draw this? Sure. Sorry, do 1 1. I'll happily do this. Probably not going to want that pack, but. Hatchling seems pretty good. Let's draw this, summon a 1-1 one, one that becomes two 1-1s. One, sure. It's a Vanna High Main. Draw this, create a 1-1 one, one that splits into two 2-2s. Two, yes. Cathrena, draw Cathrena. You've got a 1-1 one, one that's going to recruit you. Probably a massive beast. Yes. No, no. For this. Yeah, I'll take a 1 1 Tyrion. That doesn't seem too bad to me. Yes. Definitely yes. Sad, but yes. This is also cool. These are cool. Like summoning some one ones of these is really good. Um, I, I probably would be happy with that. I know this is like a lot of these things are going. But personally, I play a lot of wild, so I'm, I'm looking at this as a whole. So drawing this, sure, I'll make a one one with stealth. That then I can play a one one with stealth. That's going to make some big J golems. Not complaining. I'll make a 1-1 one, one that's going to make give me a 3-2 weapon. Sure. Like, overall, that's not a bad thing. Sure, I'll have a Zaral. Make a 1-1 one, one Zaral. Death Rattle, give me a Toxin. This is good. Nah, I probably won't want to make Bone Baron. That's not that great. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. Probably not really, actually. You're not going to want to make a 1-1 one, one ring to then make a ring to get two of the their seal. You're just not going to be doing that, so you probably don't want ring. But no, Void Lord, Poison, Possessed Lackey, yes. Although, like, even like this, like Darkshire Librarian, like, draw Darkshire Librarian, make a 1-1. One, one. The 1-1 one, one dies, you've just drawn a card for free. <laughs> that's not bad you're not complaining about that yes I'll have a 1-1 one, one dire horn that gives me a 6-9 in my deck I mean this isn't amazing as a 1-1 one, one, but sure 6 armor yes yes Yes. Hold on, am I just... No, oh, there's a non-golden loot hole over there. Let's get rid of that. Ah. It was really unsure if it wanted to do that. <laughs> this thing's fine. I'll create a 1-1 of this. This thing I'll happily have a 1-1. One, one, a 1-1 one, one that becomes a 2-1. Sure. This is good. This is good. Like, yes, yes, yes. If you can't tell, this, yes, yes, 
Yes. Oh, that'd be great. Draw this and make a 1 1 version of it. This dies, it puts the 12 12 version of itself into play. I will take it. And <laughs> oh, that's, that'd be good. And then we have our lovely Nazoth here. But overall, if you don't. Overall, this card. Spot on. Put some Death Realm in your deck. Go. I'll play this quite happily. Azalina South Thief. Soul Thief, sorry. South Thief? I missed an L completely. Soul Thief. Replace your hand with a copy of your opponent's. Seven mana, three, three. I mean, there are definitely better things that you can do with seven mana than do that. I mean, the only way that this is going to be useful to you is if this is the only card in your hand and you just use it to like, get a fresh hand that's of your opponent's. I don't personally care for it, but I mean, you can just tell that like a month after the set's release, there's going to be a video on YouTube of. Um, funniest as in was as Alina sorry and you're going to be like yeah, that was pretty cool but that's a one off thing in like a thousand games that have happened so far on Hearthstone hmm so overall that is our neutrals done some pretty decent stuff but there's not a ton that's incredible but overall, I'm quite happy and I'm looking forward to opening some of these neutrals.